Welcome back to the show. Tribute Tuesday, Grandmaster Flash and the Furious Five, as well as the Great Sugar Hill Gang. Yes, sir. From Big Bang, I am the chief. I got a lot of rap, but I'll be brief. I never need a horse, I like the chip. So I drive up in my new Seville. My tribe went down. Arrived up in his new Seville. Well, welcome back to the show, man. This is a Tribute Tuesday. The number is 404-382-0338. You can also email me at Doug at the Doug Stewart Show dot com. Uh, once again, paying homage to the great Sugar Hill Gang and the Grandmaster Flash and the Furious Five here on uh, on this Tribute Tuesday. Don't forget, at 1 p.m. today. Jeff Fox returns to WSME. Jeff Fox returns to WSME on uh, Spreaker.com right here. And then following him at around 2 p.m. today, uh, John Fisher, Patty Cake, Patty Cake, Microwave with the John Fisher Show. Let me grab a call before we jump to this entertainment. Caller, thanks for calling the Doug Stewart Show. What's your name? Where are you calling from? What you want to talk about? Mike Check, Doug. What's up? Who's <laughs> yeah. this? This is your humble host, Marcus Harper. Marcus Harper, Sports Talk with Soul! <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. So I was just calling in to remind everybody I will be going live Saturday, May 13th, on the Stewart Media and Entertainment Network. Saturday, May 13th at 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, for sure. That's what's up, man. I'm looking forward to it. So Saturday, May 13th, 9 a.m. Eastern Time. The return of the Marcus Harper Sports Talk Show with Soul. What else you got for me, man? Well, I wanted to hit on a couple things you talked about. One, being Dwight Howard. You've now seen him for 82 games here in Atlanta. You saw him when he was in L.A. I've seen enough of Dwight Howard. Dwight Howard is just simply another center in the NBA now. He's just another guy. Right, and here's the thing about that. That's a very accurate point is I think we expected so much more, and he showed so much promise at such a young age, we expected that to progress. He really hasn't progressed at all as a player, which is very disturbing. Absolutely. Same post moves. And in today's NBA, he can't shoot. He clogs to the paint. And the biggest flaw in his game, especially in today's NBA, if he gets anything going, I'm fouling him and I'm making him go to the line where he only shoots 50%. So Right. Very good point. What else you got? All right. These playoffs. Cavs and the Warriors, they're taking all the fun out of basketball. <laughs> I don't know about you, Doug, but they're absolutely taking all the fun out of basketball. We all know Cavs and Warriors are what we're looking forward to in the finals. But with these super teams, they have – the Warriors are taking nights off in the first round of the playoffs. Yeah, <laughs> LeBron yeah. hasn't lost in the first two rounds in years. So these super teams, they are. They're taking the fun out of basketball. Hey, what do you think? If we're talking about both conferences, on whoever uh, comes out of the semifinal game um, between, uh, who was it, the Wizards are taking on right now, the Boston Celtics, whoever comes out of that game taking on Cleveland, it's going to be Cleveland. Or who's going to come out of Houston, San Antonio, and Golden State? Like, who do you think is going to be a bigger matchup problem? Or there's going to be a more competitive series when you're talking about Golden State and Houston or Cleveland and probably, probably the Boston Celtics? Okay, so I would probably say Houston, if they get things going like you saw in game one last night, they could get a game or two from Golden State, but at the end, Golden State, too much firepower. And the Wizards, they played Cleveland extremely tough. Twin will get after it. You know, Bradley Bill and John Wall are a problem. They give Cleveland some matchups. I believe if it's Boston, it's probably a sweep. And San Antonio, you're seeing, they are old. Marcus Aldridge isn't the player he used to be, and they're, they're old. San Antonio is sneaky old, so. Yeah, yeah. Good stuff, man. Marcus Harper, man, we appreciate it. 
All right, and like Dwight Howard and any team he's been on in the playoffs, I'm gone. And he's gone. <laughs> oh. Right, and he's gone. All right, all right, and he's gone. All right, all right, and he's gone. Fact, fact. I would love to see Houston, you know, advance in this series, which I think they're probably going to do. I would love to see Houston advance, man, and just knock off Golden State. But it's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. Just like Marcus Harper said, it's not going to happen. They just they just got too much. They just got too much. When they figure out who's the hot guy that night, whether that's Klay Thompson, whether that's Durant, whether that's Steph Curry, like one of them three guys, it's just it's just unimaginable that one of those three guys won't go off, won't be hot as fish grease in one particular night. They'll figure out who that guy is and continue to feed him the ball. All right, and chances are two out of those three guys are going to be hot on one night, usually. And some nights all three are going to be on fire. That's just too much of Golden State. It's just too much in Golden State, but I'm going to hope. I'm going to hope. A little bit of entertainment. Today's date is... What's today's date? May 2nd. May 2nd, 2017. Celebrating birthdays today is... Can you smell it? What The Rock is cooking. Dwayne Johnson turns 45 years of age today. Happy birthday to him. Um, one of the all-time, one of the all-time, like, behind-the-mic guys, hype guys in wrestling. Like, a little bit behind the great Ric Flair. Maybe on the same par with Dusty Rhodes, the American Dream. Uh, but happy birthday to The Rock. Turns 45, former University of Miami football player. Happy birthday to him. Also celebrating his 42nd birthday today is soccer player David Beckham. He's 42 years of age. Uh, Paul George, forward for the Indiana Pacers, turns 27 years of age today. Happy birthday to him. Who hopefully he'll be a Laker very soon. <laughs> Yeah, I know a lot of y'all don't want to see that happen. Just like y'all were on y'all hands and knees praying that David Stern stopped the Chris Paul trade. That worked. See, prayer does help. Y'all got on your hands and knees and prayed for the prayed for the Chris Paul trade not to go down, and it, and it happened. Prayer works. So you need to get praying that Paul George don't come to the Lakers again. Um, what else? We don't have any other celebrity birthdays today, I don't think. Did I give my man JY3? Ah, I think I'm late on this. But happy birthday to Stewie JY3. He says he celebrated his birthday, um, I think on Sunday. Said he played golf on Saturday and kicked it hard all weekend long. Happy birthday, JY3 from the Doug Stewart Show and the Stewart Media and Entertainment Network. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And that's it. If you got a birthday coming up anytime soon, man, you want your boy to give you a birthday shout out, I love giving birthday shots out on the Doug Stewart Show. Speaking of prayer, speaking of prayer, I need y'all to pray for Ari Spears. Um, have y'all seen the video, man, of Ari Spears, a uh, comedian, getting attacked on, uh, what's the dude's name? I can't even remember his name. This story doesn't even talk about what radio show he was on, but he was on, uh, Corey Holcomb. He was on Corey Holcomb's little, uh, show that he has online. I think he does it on YouTube or whatever, and I haven't seen it, but I've seen clips of it. Everybody says it's real good. But Ari Spears, man, comedian, the cat that was on Mad TV, does a lot of these um, 
uh, impersonations, very good at doing impersonations, does one of the best Jay-Z impersonations you've ever seen. He was on Corey Holcomb's show, and he got attacked by one of the co-hosts, Zoe Williams, the internet-based radio station where the now legendary flurry happened. Uh, you'll recall Williams unleashed punches after punches on Spears as he joked about light-skinned ninjas. And Zoe Williams jumped up, man, and he didn't – you got to see the video, man. He didn't really throw punches. Like, he didn't look like he could really fight to me. He got up and started throwing, like, elbows and hitting Ari Spears all in the top of his head, and Ari Spears didn't respond at all. He just sat there. But basically, Ari Spears is coming up right now and saying that he's going to get his money because he's suing all of them. Yeah. What he said was he was attacked for doing his job. Uh, you know, comedians, and I, I don't know. I saw the video, watched the video. Ari Spears gets attacked on Corey Holcomb's, you know, show. I don't even know what the name of it is. And he was telling jokes. They were snapping on each other. You can't get personal when you snap on each other. You play in the dozens or whatnot. And the dude got sensitive and jumped up and started wailing on Ari Spears. Is it Ari's or Aries? Ari Spears, I believe. Um, So very interesting. He's basically saying that he was doing his job as a comedian, and dude took it too personal, and he got to come out of his pocket because he's taking his ass to court. Yeah, yeah. Um, You see, he didn't put up a fight in the studio. Uh, He's going to take the guy to court, and... um, He's already hired a lawyer and whatnot, man, because it's real foul. It was foul to see something like that. And also, speaking of prayers, lastly, give a prayer out to my man, Darkman X. DMX has reportedly checked himself into a rehab center. The rapper uh, has been going through some tough times, man. And he canceled three tour dates due to a medical emergency is being reported. His manager, Pat Gallo, released the following statement. He says, quote, it's important right now that he takes some time off to focus on his health so that he can be a better father, friend, and entertainer. I didn't even know about this. Back in February 2016, DMX was found unconscious after an overdose. Damn. X been fighting demons for many, many years, man. So y'all pray. Pray for Randy Gregory, as I said yesterday. Pray for that young man because clearly you failed seven drug tests. You got a problem. Uh, and also pray for Doc Man X. Uh, pray for the great DMX, man. Wow. <laughs> today is today is National Foster Care Day, which is the first Tuesday in May every year. And today is also National Life Insurance Day. Please get you some life insurance. We had a long discussion about life insurance a couple of weeks ago, man. Stewie Stewets, get you some life insurance. Um, you need to do that. Also, today is uh, National Truffle Day. What is truffle? Um, disturbingly, I found out what truffle butter is a couple of months back. <laughs> yeah, look it up. Look it up. You hear your child talking about some truffle butter? Um, it's one of the most disgusting concepts in the history of the world. <laughs> right, right. Um, don't get down with no truffle butter. Yeah. Thank you.